to Is It News. Today, from Lux World Productions here in Loganville, Georgia, my guest today is, uh, and she's already laughing, folks, Charmel. <laughs> this could be a long show, guys. Uh, how you doing, Charmel? I'm good, brother. How are you? Just great. Awesome. I, and I saved these stories just for you. Did you really? I really did. You know how, how you have certain stories that fit certain people? Well, the first story is a New York Post story out mm -hmm. of China. Okay. Now, the country's Ministry of Culture announced late last month that they will be targeting a bunch of rural provinces for, quote, their obscene and vulgar performances at weddings, funerals, and temple fairs. And what it is is they have are having problems with strippers at funerals. What the hell that nigga think of me for? <laughs> <laughs> If the shoe fits. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, now, okay, as, now, tell me the story uh, again. Stripper pose. I okay. got that. No, no, no not stri strippers. Strip they art. actually have strippers at funerals, oh. and it's become a problem because really? there's obscene and vulgar performances at weddings, funerals, and temple fairs. Well, I don't no. know what a temple fair, but let me ask you guys: How many of you people? In the audience, have would have a. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So much. Yeah. Now, hell, keep it coming. Okay. Did anybody die? Did anybody die? Nobody get married. Okay. How, how many people have had strippers or would have strippers at their wedding? Mm. I noticed no hands God, went up in the well, audience here. Well, let's what see. about your funeral? I mean, that I well, figured that may be a way I could get people to come to mine. Well, you know what? I mean, you know, at least. But, but it depends, I guess, how you. How I know you, Cupcake what, Bill would be there, I know. Right, you know, so. well, look now, let's think about this. So, you always want to have a money purse, right? Okay. So, I would think, I'm going to go on record, Doug, and say, damn the vendors. Damn, damn the vendors. You don't even need to have a vending shop. You just, don't need to have a booth. You could just bring strippers and charge for people to come to the wedding. Because you know, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. Because you got to find a way to pay for the wedding. Right? Well, they always have, they do have a lot. Of, well, so I've heard. Okay, it's so strip joints. Right, I, they, right, I, they, right, they, right, so right, I've heard so they right, have. Right. Uh, right. right. Uh, well, somebody told a, you a, this. Uh, somebody told you this. <laughs> but Doug, just think about this, right? If I am getting married and I'm kind of short with the caterer, right? I mean, I don't have all the money for the caterer. Okay. So what would I be a stripper? Well, I don't think it's the would bride. You would, you would just have somebody come in and entertain the audience as a stripper. Oh. So I, I think. So do you get a now, cut off of the stripping? It doesn't say. I'm sure you. Really those rules are pretty flexible. Really I mean, really in more ways than one, but I'm give sure they more, would work with you. Now, Charmel, this they said it, it has been a long time tradition in rural China for residents to hire strippers to partake in body performances at funerals in order to attract a larger attendance of mourners. Uh, <laughs> if body, if body, you have, I'd say body, body, not body, B-A-W-D-Y, body. B -A -W -D -Y, body. Oh, okay. body. Yeah, okay. like, yeah. What's body? Well, <laughs> out there, okay, okay. <laughs> you. Okay, yeah, you. Okay, I got you now. See, okay, okay good, good, good. but I mean, but not I, I can understand how that would. Okay. I mean, draw people in. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you may have bikers there. But a couple biker gangs show up at the funeral home, but whatever, but I guess. Rural, right, so yeah. they need the money. Yeah, but um, now it says to according to the Global Times, scantily clad women in sexy lingerie and revealing clothes. Showing off their bodies in front of an electronic screen, displaying a black and white headshot of the deceased, with text reading, "We offer profound condolences for the death of this man," and that, and that's now a modern part of funerals in some rural areas of China. I love it. So this is a new photo bomb. Well, yeah, I mean, you actually have the picture of the deceased with a little, you know, I guess, hey. You're a pretty so good guy. Good I mean, we're, so, we're, we love you so much, we're here to take our clothes off. That's I mean, true. Okay. So that's what so, I'm saying. Um, so this is a new photo bomb time. Yeah. So yeah. No, yeah. no more of this. No. No. So no. no more of this. This is out the door. Okay. So booty. Now, yeah, there we go. Now, now, it says, the typical scene of this, of strippers performing at a funeral, uh, the crowd push is pushed to climax. I, <laughs> I'm just know? reading, Why folks. I'm not saying this. But the crowd of, is pushed to... What's that? Uh, yeah. How's our sensor The crowd is pushed to climax, roaring with laughter, whistling, applauding, and cursing. I guess. I've never really heard you curse at it. 
Well, well, so I've heard. It is right, right, because so you're not I, yeah, I, one. I, I, I've just right. heard. But let's but, uh, reread that sentence. The now, crowd and pushed I, to climax. Yeah, and oh, well, and as the performers right. saunter into the audience to, let's say, let's put it, perform. Mm-hmm. I'm not, not mm-hmm. going to say what it says in right, here. I'll just say right, perform. Right. And, and I don't know why you thought this I guess lap dances, okay? Me. We'll just say they were giving lap dances there at the and funeral. And this story was so, inspired by so, uh, I inspired the story. Huh? Well, I just thought oh, you would get a kick out of this. I like so. it. I do like uh, it. Now, <laughs> oh, and see, you made 10 bucks. This is true. And you didn't even die. You didn't see. You, you didn't die. Even are, you, are you getting married? Am I married? Are no. you getting married? Uh-huh. No. <laughs> I, you better I, think I think we're going to move to the next story, okay? Uh, this is a Reuters story. <laughs> this is a Reuters, Reuters, Reuters story out of Oslo, Norway. Now, you know, here in Georgia, they've been lately putting in a lot of roundabouts. I mean, you know, the roundabouts in Europe, they have a lot of them. Well, anyway, in Norway, high school graduates, they have had to uh, clamp down on... These high school graduates in these post graduation period called RUS. I guess that is after they graduate, they mm-hmm. kind of party, drink, and, and all this other what stuff. Is, what? Rush? Russ. R U S S. That's what heard. they call it. I mean, well, it's Nor it's well, you Norway. Were, you went on one so, of the hot boxes. But apparently they are having um, they've had dozens of accidents involving students in red or blue painted vans and buses and um, because people are having sex in the roundabouts. Okay, are the babies having sex in the roundabouts? Yes, the the graduates. The graduates. They're 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 drinking, having uh-huh. sex in the roundabouts, and people, I guess, are watching and missing their car- turn, and and they're having some a lot of accidents. So they are now clamping down on that, and they have put now signs clamping. up there that clamping. clamping. <laughs> Boy, there's going to be a lot of editing in this one here, folks. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, now, so you can you get in a bus, a red or blue bus? Well, I guess that that must be the thing. Everybody okay, so gets red into those. Blue. So did they say red means what? Well, it doesn't say it about the meaning. It just, it just but they the now colors. put uh, signs up that says no, no, say no to sex in roundabout. So in a roundabout <laughs> way. Like, yeah, in a roundabout <laughs> way. I guess way, no. so. Uh, <laughs> So, um, <laughs> the Terj ter- <laughs> Mo Gustafson, a former minister of transport who now runs the Public Roads Administration, said, quote, everyone understands that being in and around roundabouts is a traffic hazard. Mm-hmm. It may not be so dangerous for someone to be without clothes on the bridge, but drivers can get too much of a surprise and completely forget that they are driving. So, <laughs> apparently in Norway... Uh-huh. If you want to go naked to go, on a bridge, right, I'm good. more power to you, but baby. If but, uh, but if you're going in a roundabout, mm-hmm. we, they, they draw the line. There's a line in the sand, apparently. How many roundabouts we got in Georgia? We've got a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, so I, I'm going to be going. careful on the right, next roundabouts so I go around. So yeah, because I'm going to see if Eddie has a blue van or a red I'm also, <laughs> If I so, folks, if you are in Georgia or around Georgia and uh-huh. see a blue and red van, watch out! It's watch Charmel. Out. It okay, in a roundabout. Okay. He just so. thought that he would hold these stories for me because you know I don't know. What, so a stripper. And now sex in a roundabout. Right. You want to give me your attention? No. <laughs> Is this your proposal to me? No, these sure. are just new stories. Gonna, that look, talk. will you marry me? I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I can't be bought. You can't be bought. Hey, I'm not cheap, but I can't be bought. This is ten dollars. A stripper only get a dollar. Our sister is yelling back there in the background. My bad. I'll make it rain later. <laughs> well, folks. And I guess when you think you've reached a new low, you hit an even bigger one. So, uh, folks, thank you for tuning in to Is It News. Charmel, thank you so thank much for being brother. here. Oh, and and hit, I'm going to hit my applause button here. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.